Hi, I'm Eric with Matthews, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at our burner flame and how we, want, how we can make sure that we have a good flame quality. When you look in a viewport and look at the flame that your burner's producing, we expect to see a mostly blue, maybe with yellow tips flame. But if you see a big yellow flame, something's not right with your burner or with your airflow. So if you look at your burner and you see a big yellow flame, the first thing we'll wanna make sure is that you have good airflow making it to the burner. You'll take a full load reading of your fan motor and make sure it's pulling what you expect. If it's pulling too low amperage, we can come over to our fan and we can make sure that it's turning in the right direction. We can also check our pulley sizes as well as making sure that our belts are tight. If you've confirmed that you have good airflow, everything's moving like it should and you've got the right full load for your motor, next thing we'll want to look at is how our actuator and regulator are working together. So under normal operation, once your dryer is up to temperature, we expect your actuator position to be somewhere north of 20%. If you take a look at the top of the actuator, there's an indicator that shows its current position. This is right now at 0% open. Once our dryer is up to heat, we should see it somewhere closer to 30%, definitely above 20%. If it's staying at a very low position, even once the dryer is up to heat, then that tells us the actuator isn't able to adjust as well as it should be able to. We'll want to lower our gas pressure until that open position is closer to 30%. So we'll adjust our regulator, reducing the pressure to allow our actuator to open further. If you can't lower the pressure on the regulator enough and still maintain a flame, the last step we could look at is the PID values and the burner uh, arrangement. You'd want to call us to get advice on that before making any changes to the PID loop in your burner settings. And last, if none of that works, you may want to look at the fuel quality. If you're running especially an LP machine, and maybe you've had no issues in the past, but all of a sudden you're having burner issues, check to see if you've gotten new fuel from a new supplier, if there's anything that needs to be checked on that end. So I hope this video has been helpful. Hopefully you can have a good blue flame, and we'll see you in the next video.